Hello guys, this is Joyce and I am here for another Saturday morning challenge of Fringe. You know, Shantae and I have been getting together quite regularly over the last few years and it's always an awesome time. You know, we make products, projects that we've never done before. We challenge each other to use the products that we own to, I mean, use the tools, the papers and all the other stuff dies <laughs> and um, so this week's challenge was to create uh, handbags some purses and we are calling it handbag mania okay you know we like to come up with the cutesy names and so this week we our goal was to make three purses three different purses okay and any style, any size, any, you know, any way. So I'm going to show you first some of the items that I actually used. And I used this bling, a couple pieces off of there. And I think this is from Hobby Lobby. And, you know, they got some of the prettiest bling over there. And I think that's where that's come from. But it has been in my stash a very long time. And I really liked it because it has these lines going through it. So it's kind of different. It looks black and gray, uh, black and silver. So I used two of those. I used two pieces of this one. This is some uh, Michaels bling uh, from when Michaels actually had dollar bins. You know, when they had the bins in the front of the store and everything was a dollar this and you know how long that's been so this is some of that and I used two of those they came three to a pack so I actually finished off one pack and then started this new one I used some of this paper this piece is tonic uh, that came out of one of the tonic regular paper uh, forget what they call it and I forgot to keep that one out but that is a tonic and then this piece is a this eggplant from Gina K. And then I use um, a piece from this Prima Darcel. I, I used a piece of parts of that. I'm still going to use the rest of that for something else. And then I used um, let me see if I can show you the one I used. I used part of this sheet of this color. I really like the textures on that piece. So I used part of that. You see I'm keeping that because I'm going to use some more of that. And then I used some chestnut glaze. I used some of that one. See I put all my little scraps back in there. And then I used some of this cosmic copper. And all that's tonic. And then I used some of this pearlescent pearl white from Tonic. And I also used, this one is, and I covered up my, um, the part with the name on it. But this is the Jet Black, what is it called? This is called, on, what is it, on, Onyx Black. From, and it's one of the pearlescent cards. I like that little shimmer. And I don't know if you know it or not. I was in Michael's today. And Michael's has shimmer paper. And it is on sale this week. Uh, $9.99 for the 100, um, 100 pack. 100 sheets of the 65 pound. And the uh, 110 pound is still on sale until tomorrow. And I'm going to go because they had some purple. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that now. I'm going to talk about that when I do my haul from Michael's. So anyway, guys, moving on, I used these dies, and these are all K uh, KS Craft dies, and I actually got these from, I got this one from Allie, I think. No, I got this one from Allie. And then I got this one from Allie also, and you'll see it when I, um, and then I got this one from Amazon, and it's kind of cute, so I, you know, I use some of the, um, magnetic sheets, because, you know, them little bags they come in, it's just not all that, 
So guys, first off, let me tell you about my dies. One of these dies, and it is this one, is a memory dex card. Can you see that? So I made two memory dex purses. So cute. And then this uh, queen is from another die that I haven't used the big parts of it. But I love that it had word dies in it. So I cut that out in some of the Michaels um, gold foil paper and the bling. I think that was maybe, maybe a couple pieces left of that. But this is, I'm not even sure where this bling came from, but it just went with my papers. And then when you flip it over, it actually opens up. So I used um, Velcro. And so you can write on the inside if you were to give that to your friend. You could put a note in there. And then so that is my first purse. I just when I saw that, I thought that was just too cute. And I had to have it. So of course I made two of those. And then this is where I used that pinkish paper. And this one just says Diva. And this uh, cut, this die cut, word die cut Diva came from the same set as that. That set's not up here right now, or I would tell you which one it was. But that is definitely uh, KS Craft also. So, and then I made this. And then this is some of the uh, Michael's Bling. Oops. So that is that side, and I really love how these turned out, and I think these would make cute little gifts. I th and so instead of putting a Velcro on there, this was one of a piece from the die. So I left it open at the top and then just put my top down in there, and then you just open it up. And I think you could put a gift card in this. Let me see if I got one laying around somewhere. Hmm. Okay, we can use my AARP card, but a gift card would actually fit in there. So let's do the one with the Velcro. So you could actually use this for a gift card holder. You know, Shantae is all about some gift card holders, right? So that could be a gift card holder, guys. I didn't think about that when I was making it, but yeah, that would be too cute. And then on the inside, you could have your information and they could just add that to their Rolodex. How cute, right? So I think I'm going to add some Velcro to this one too because getting that back down in the little pocket is just a pain. So anyway, guys, that is my first purse and I'm counting that as one of my three. And so then the second one is this one and that's a KS craft die and this is what it looks like put together so I love I use that um, brown paper and that cosmic uh, copper and I really like it and so here these two pieces should slide together but you know I think if I had used a not so thick paper it would have but, and if you look down in there, it's pretty deep. It is, I mean, this is the perfect size to, so if you go down in there, it's like three and a half inches. Um, it's two and three quarters at the fold, but if you leave it open like I'm going to do, and it goes down like three and a half, and it is four inches wide but I love how that turned out and yeah so and I saw you know I thought bling just make it gotta have some bling okay you just got to so that is my purse number two now here is my purse number three this one, I don't think I put it together right, and it may be, but I really love this one. This paper, this is tonic paper, but when it cuts, you know, it's got those, instead of just the um, scored, 
it has those dots where it kind of breaks the paper but the paper is has a white core so I'm not real happy with this black one I like it when the color goes all the way through but anyway that one it's like three two layers on top of the base and I think this is piece is supposed to actually be a latch you know what you close it with but I decided I liked it open and then it's like that and here but when we go to go inside you see that it looks like it's closed the paper is there it's got a little hole and it opens up so nobody can get their hand in your purse and rip you off when you're in the store okay so because it actually closes it up and I just really loved that so oops I pushed it too far guys sorry I, I messed that one up I got it too far in there but anyway so that and I like that and it cut really well and I'm gonna use all the cutouts from this in some in a shaker because that's just too much to throw away and it's so cute so guys that is and there's that bling that is my third purse thank you so much for watching please go by and check out Shantae oh gosh I, it went over 10 minutes I'm sorry guys it got kind of long but you know how I talk but those are my purses and there you go so we are having handbag mania please go by and check out Shantae if you like this video give me leave me a comment below uh, if you and thumbs up you know all of that helps the channel you know you hear that all the time but I really appreciate your support so guys thank you so much and all the link to Shantae will be in the box below bye guys